In pursuit of looking for the $8.3 million Amber Heard has to pay Johnny Depp, it was reported that she wants her insurance company, New York Marine, to cover a portion of the verdict Johnny Depp won against her. But the insurance company refused and even filed a lawsuit. So what exactly did the insurance company write in the lawsuit? And how did they expose Amber for trying to manipulate the media? Since the jury gave their verdict in favor of Johnny Depp, a lot has been going on with both Johnny and Amber. And while Johnny has been doing more of moving on, it has not been that smooth for Amber. She and her team started navigating how she'll pay the millions of dollars that Johnny Depp was awarded in court, while also seeking ways to appeal or even have a mistrial declared. The legal teams for both Johnny and Amber already gathered in Virginia Fairfax County on June 24 to discuss the future of the $10.35 million settlement between the concerned parties. In the hearing that people present described as tense, Elaine Bredehoft sought to set a briefing schedule and more for a proposed appeal for Amber. And based on reporters who were present, the judge said something to the effect of, I've had this case for 18 months and we had a six-week trial. We don't need a hearing. Correspondent Ann Jeanette Levy, who was present at the proceedings, actually noted that the judge was strict toward Elaine after her defamatory comments on the jury, saying, Judge A is always no nonsense. Today she was even more so, and seemed like she was having none of what E.B. was saying. I asked E.B. afterward whether she would come outside since our camera was out there and whether she had anything to say. She politely said no. Apparently, the judge also told Elaine that if they wanted to appeal the verdict from the seven-person jury, they would have to file motions with the court. The judge also informed her that Amber would have to put up an $8.35 million bond with 6% interest per year for any appeal to formally move forward. And based on what both Amber and Elaine said after the trial, Amber has absolutely no way of paying the money. And one of her options was to ask her insurance to pay the money. Well, the only problem is that her insurance company, New York Marine, wants nothing to do with her. The company insured Amber from July 18, 2018 through July 18, 2019, which was actually a crucial time period for the defamation case. That time frame includes the date Amber wrote and retweeted the now infamous Washington Post op-ed. And the period also includes the March 1st, 2019 filing date of Johnny Depp's defamation lawsuit. At the time, Amber was covered by a $1 million insurance policy from July 2018 through July 2019. And the insurance company agreed to provide defense counsel to Amber for Johnny's defamation claim without charge but reserved the right to deny payment of the $1 million policy benefits if the facts showed her op-ed about Johnny was a willful act to injure him. Amber also had a homeowner's insurance policy through Traveler's Insurance at the time she wrote the Washington Post op-ed. In fact, a representative from Traveler's Insurance was in court during the defamation trial each day, seated in the gallery behind Amber Heard. Well, in a case filed in 2021, Traveler's Insurance sued New York Marine for what they called the failure of New York Marine to meet its obligation to provide Amber with independent counsel and other counsel necessary to defend her. The result of that alleged failure, according to Travelers, was that Travelers was unfairly forced to pay for its share of the defense. Apparently, Traveler's Insurance now wants New York Marine to also cover half of Elaine and her team's fees. And it's all just one big mess. And in response to the insurance companies going after each other, one person wrote, When you fail to comprehend that your actions have consequences, you end up in litigation hell. Her insurance companies are also suing each other. She's fantastic at bringing people together. Just superb. And yes, New York Marine Insurance Company also responded to Amber, asking them to pay out. In a lawsuit they filed, they noted that under California law, an insurance company is not liable to pay if the insured party committed wrongful, willful misconduct. In Amber's case, 
The firm noted that not only did the jury find she had committed willful defamation, but it was also deemed to be malicious. New York Marine, therefore, sought a declaration from the judge that based on the policy and the law, they are not responsible for paying the damages for Amber. They actually filed their claim in the hopes of accomplishing three things. The first thing was to absolve itself of paying for Amber's defense in her defamation case against Johnny Depp. The group also filed so that it will not be required to pay the money that Amber Heard now owes her ex according to the verdict. And finally, it's hoping to avoid picking up the tab for any further litigation expense connected to an appeal. The filing also noted that New York Marine accepted the Cameron McEvoy law firm as Amber's defense in October 2019, yet it did not approve when the firm withdrew from the case in November 2020. Due to that change, they said they do not believe they should have to shell out cash for legal fees. Remember, Elaine already filed a motion in court to toss the verdict, and among other things, the team argued that to find that Amber had actual malice, Johnny Depp would have had to show that at the time the Washington article was published, Amber did not believe she had been harmed. In addition, they also argued that Johnny never challenged the fact that Amber did not write the title of the op-ed, which was one of three defamatory statements comprising Johnny's defamation claims. The legal team also wrote in the motion that Johnny had no evidence that he lost Pirate 6 because of the op-ed, and that since the UK trial, publication of The Sun and the op-ed were all happening around the same time. It was impossible to separate which of them exactly harmed Johnny Depp, and they argued that Johnny Depp didn't prove that it was exactly from the op-ed. He had reputational damages. Just like in their interviews post-trial, Amber's team also said there was suppressed evidence, claiming that they could not introduce evidence that Johnny Depp had already, in fact, been adjudicated in the UK court of his choosing, to have committed not just one act of DV, which was all that was needed in the Virginia case for a defense verdict, but 12 acts. And based on those and other reasons, they requested the court to set aside the jury verdict in favor of Johnny in its entirety, dismiss the complaint, or in the alternative, order a new trial. The only problem is that there will literally be no money to cover another trial, and followers said they were living for how karma was overworking in Amber's life. One person wrote, I'm so glad she's getting what she deserves. Those horrendous stories she made up are finally coming back to haunt her. You can't lie on people to that extent, and it not reap some kind of payback, and it not reap some kind of payback. The fact he's moved on and will thrive, while she deteriorates, is great to see. And another person added, It's about time her deceptive, manipulating, greedy games finally caught up with her. Let all of her supporters pledge their money to help her out. AH created her own nightmare by being greedy. She had the opportunity to have a great life, and she flushed it all away. Other people also pointed out that the lawsuit only exposed more of Amber's lies. She said in court that she could not fulfill her pledges because she was being sued and had to pay legal fees. But Traveler's Insurance clearly stated that they were covering the legal fees and they were actually suing New York Marine to share the cost. Like one person wrote, Amber Heard lied under oath about the donations she said she was paying her own legal fees, when the truth is, Traveler's Insurance paid for her legal fees. She is currently being sued by her insurance company. She withheld donations from sick kids and used them for clout. Someone else added, ACLU in Children's LA must be so proud of super donor Amber Heard, claiming in a Virginia court under oath that she couldn't fulfill her pledges because Johnny Depp sued her. Except Traveler's Insurance admitted paying $5 million of her legal fees. Perjury runs in Amber's DNA. Clearly, New York Marine has every intention of making sure that they are done with Amber. And Traveler's Insurance is already complaining about having to pay all the legal fees. So what will happen to Amber? How on earth will she afford to pay the legal fees and the damages? We really don't know, 
but we have more great tea in this other video.